Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. We've got a great one for you today. We are going to be discussing the history of Apple's notch. The notch can be found on both the iPhone and now multiple models of the MacBook. Let's jump into the history of where it all started. On November 3rd, 2017, Apple introduced the brand new overhaul design of the iPhone X, or as some people like to refer to it, the iPhone X. With this new phone came the brand new notch design that would house the all new Face ID system that would replace Touch ID from previous iPhone models. Housed inside of the notch is an infrared camera, a flood illuminator, a proximity sensor, an ambient light sensor, a speaker, a microphone, the front facing selfie camera, and a dot projector. Apple continued to do and continues to use the notch design on their phone models that were released after the iPhone X, which include the iPhone XS, the XS Max, the XR, the 11, the 11 Pro, the 11 Pro Max, 12, 12 Mini, 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, 13, 13 Mini, 13 Pro, and finally the 13 Pro Max. As recently as last year, the notch began to make an appearance on Apple's MacBook Pro line with the 14 and 16 inch models being introduced on October 18th, 2021. However, these notches do not contain many of the components I mentioned in the previous segment about the iPhones. There is no Face ID and it only contains a 1080p camera, which honestly in my opinion is not very good quality. There is also a microphone built into the notch. Besides that, it's mostly just dead space. On June 6, 2022, Apple continued this trend by introducing the brand new M2 MacBook Air models which also contained the same notch found in the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro models. Later this year, we are expecting to see Apple release the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max models which will no longer have the notch. However, the baseline iPhone 14 and rumored iPhone 14 Max models will have the same smaller notch that was found on the iPhone 13 models. The iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max models will instead have a pill and hole punch design that will contain the same features found in the regular iPhone notch. An interesting question to ask for the future is where else will we see the notch appear, if at all? Will we see it on future models of the iPad? As you can see here, there is no notch. The Face ID sensors are hidden up here in this larger bezel. But Apple's trend has been to reduce the bezel size. So will we see it make an appearance on future iPad Pro and iPad Air and iPad Mini models? only time will tell. When it comes to Apple's notch, I have very mixed feelings on the matter. I particularly do not understand the implementation of the notch on the MacBook line for instance. They could have easily implemented something a lot cleaner and a lot smaller considering all that the notch houses is a tiny little camera and a tiny little microphone. They could have done something like we see on many Android phones where they have a tiny little pinhole camera that takes up very little screen real estate. I don't like the look of the notch at all on my computer and I actually use an app called Top Notch to help hide it and it makes it look a lot nicer in my opinion. All of that being said, there are a lot of positives to having the notch, especially on my MacBook computer. With the implementation of the Top Notch app, I am able to black out the entire menu bar on my computer, which basically makes it look like there's one big bezel up there, but within that bezel are all of my menu bar options, thereby giving me more screen real estate beneath it. As for the notch on the iPhone line, I am definitely looking forward to the pill and hole punch design that will be coming with the iPhone 14 Pro models. However, it's not perfect and it quite frankly looks a little bit awkward, but it is a step in the right direction. One day, it would be really cool to see all of this technology concealed under the screen. This tech actually already exists, but it's in its infancy 
It was initially released on the ZTE Axon 25G back in 2020. This technology also appeared on the ZTE Axon 35G, the ZTE Axon 40, and the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. Some people complained about lower quality images and too much software-based photo enhancement. Personally, I think having slightly lower image quality on one tiny little section of the screen is far superior to having a big chunk of the screen taken up by an entire notch. And I'm also not a huge fan of taking selfies and rarely take them. So slightly lower image quality on that front facing camera really isn't a big deal to me. I would gladly sacrifice a bit of selfie quality for a true full screen edge to edge display on an iPhone in a heartbeat. However, these are just my opinions on the notch. What I really want to know is how you feel. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts on the notch and front facing camera technology are. And be sure to like and subscribe for more great content. Thanks for watching.